Uh, Dave Snyder here again, and uh, it's the sixth day of January 2014. Okay, so the last couple videos I made, I showed the desert glass, what I believe created the desert glass, right? And uh, I mean, it, you could take the rest of this image and finish what I started. If I mean, th I'm just trying to show you the absolute importance of what I'm trying to show you here all the time because I've already discovered a lot of things like this. Okay, a lot of things like Schrodinger and and, and the Stonehenge and all that and, and the Mayan mask is absolutely and we I mean I just made a video the other day showing this actual area of the moon hitting in Africa didn't I, I, I I'm sure I did this Copernicus was in uh, you know in the middle of Africa somewhere and Lake Victoria was right here right Lake Victoria was right here and that puts that just about right in the right place right see that so we got Lake Victoria right here and if you go north Lake Victoria you got Egypt right up here about that far but that just shows you that you can measure the middle of this right here let's just do that let's go there and see what it is on the moon we'll go from Kepler Kepler to this uh, blue area, that's 700, it says it's 765 miles on, on the moon, it says, and from that distance to that distance, let's go to the earth now, okay, so I look Kepler, okay, I got it, pretty, I'm going to put it close anyway, um, to, to the earth, okay, look at that, we got Kepler uh, right here, and look at that, Look at the positioning and everything, people. It's right in place. Come right here. Start here. Middle of uh, Lake Victoria, I would say. We'll go right up here to Egypt. It was somewhere right in here. Right about here. And that gives you 1,888 miles. Showing you the true size of the moon. That's how important this is. That's why I try to show you, and I'm so persistent at doing it. Because I, I, it's important. That people that, that think that they understand the moon and the earth actually do understand it because some of us need to. I mean, I, I think the scientists in that desert class video, that I, the documentary, I think they already know. They actually absolutely show a picture of the moon hit, giving you a hint during the, during the video. You can see it. They show a meteor coming and there's the moon in the background. That's, the, that's what started this whole thing for me was I watched the episode of How the Earth Was Made. And, and they were talking about how the, Mar the Marianas Trench, and they, it was just remained a mystery to this day what created it, right? Well, they showed a picture of the moon while they were saying that. Why would they show a picture of the moon while they said that? That's what started this whole thing right there. I, I, right from that point, I went to the Marianas Trench. As I, I wasn't even done watching it yet. I went straight to the Marianas Trench, and I could see the big out around the outside of it is a big circle. That's what started it all. Since then... You know, the weather thing was the, was the biggest discovery I made in the whole thing, was the weather, because the, I just accidentally hit that weather button one day, and I said, oh, wow, look at that. You know, I had some craters up on the earth of the moon, and, and I started going through some of the ones that I already had in place. It was just unbelievable what I was seeing. Confirming all, and then I, I found so many more impacts with the weather after that. I mean, that's, that's what I use now to find them all. You see, you've been watching me do it. I mean, as soon as I see him, I, I, I make a video, you know, and I show you. But that's what the importance of it is. And also in that one, the documentary, they talk about Tagunska, Tagunska or whatever the hell it is up here in, in Siberia. Well, we should check the weather often around that area. I haven't even looked for it yet. I don't even know where it is in, in Siberia, so i got to look that up. But we should be looking at that area, not on Google Earth so much because you can see what they do with the weather here. It really sucks. They changed it. It really sucks. See the square that they leave out because there's something right here. Look, this square or this this triangle that they cut out that they're not showing the weather in is showing a pattern right now that would be obvious to people like myself. I would see something in that pattern that would let me allow me to line that with the with the moon. I'm sure it would. I I, I know it because I've seen it them do it countless times. Same thing at the South Pole. They do the same thing sometimes down there. Not always, but look. There you go. So look at that. That just happens. The satellite just happens to be down right there. Okay. I'm sure. 
I know why that's down. I mean, it's showing something. Okay? So, I just want you to understand the importance of it. And, and also, when I show you, like, Copernicus sitting in Bolivia, somewhere around Bolivia, and showing you the weather pattern over the moon, with, with that all lined up, all three things lined up, the moon, the weather, and the, and the continent of, of South America, you see, you can look in those areas where I say, Copernicus hit, and you'll see that they have like big silver mines there, like the biggest, that big silver mountain over here, okay, the one that this, the Spanish, you know, exploited, okay, well, there, that's, that was created by something, it was put there somehow, and you got the moon hitting, the Copernicus crater hitting somewhere, right, it could have been right here, but it showed it right over here in Bolivia somewhere, and Bolivia is a huge mining country, I mean, and same with Brazil, they're huge mining areas, and it, so when I say that it brings the gold and creates all the crystals and gems, I'm not mess. I, I'm, I know what I'm talking about because I've seen it basically. I put it together. Just I, I can just see the I can picture it in my own mind. Put it that way. Look at this. Look at this circle right here, people. Look at this. See that? That looks like Schrodinger right there. It's the center of something. I'll let you try to figure it out. I mean, I've I've had Schrodinger here before. Maybe it's going to start showing it because it's been about a year since I've, I think I've see, started seeing it in, in South America. But something goes there. I know Mer, Mer Oriental fits perfect over here. At, I think they were hit several times. Just certain times of the year show different, um, different. I don't know different traits of, of, of the different impacts. It'll show the traits of one of Mer Oriental at certain times of the year, and at another time of the year the weather will show another impact that was in the same place so you'll see both prints from both because all the all the, the lunar images or lunar impacts share a similar shape they hit the same place on earth a bunch of times so I mean I've seen that I've, they, they, they share the same shapes so I'm just saying this that's what's important about this like the Amazon I showed you what I thought shaped the Amazon on the moon I've so, showed you that and it's I, I would guarantee that what I showed you is what shaped it because it fits absolutely perfect so it shapes the Amazon at least. And the Andes are pushed up by all, I mean, it gives you such a, a good understanding of what really goes on on this planet when, the, when things happen, when the big one happens, I guess. And they say that this, uh, they, they dated this at 30 million years ago, this desert glass impact. But, but they say in the video that it, it was a, a, an air blast, like a, a, the, the meteor blew up above the, you know in the atmosphere and it you know it blew out all the trees and stuff like that or blew out created the sand or the glass so if they're right on the date that's when it happened 30 million years ago the moon hit this area I would say but the Siberian one would be co kind of cool to find too we gotta look, keep our eyes open for that it's gonna be right over that area right so I just gotta type in that, that uh, place and then just keep my eyes on that area on wonder maps this won't show anything on here so that's it have a great day I mean I, I'm leaving some room open for other people to make these discoveries I want to see your videos if you make some if you discover something too share it don't be shy I want people to make videos about this I don't, I don't care if, I'm not I don't like being the only one doing this no fun that way I want to see other people discover things by doing this because you will. I mean, I can't think of everything. I've thought of a lot of things as I go through documentaries and things like that that are mysteries and all this stuff that I've pe to people in the documentaries. But they know. I think they know. Those guys, I think, know. Like I said, the moon in the background of the meteor. And that stuff is just giving you clues. It's not coincidence that they show the moon in the background. Trust me. So that's it. Have a great day.